it's been a hot minute since we've seen each other. Hi. Yeah, um, let's point out the obvious and get right into it. I took a podcast hiatus. I was definitely feeling like pressure on myself to be a one-woman show and do all the things by myself. And then also I was feeling guilty because I was spending so much time trying to get a podcast episode out and edit it and make it be this perfect thing when this podcast is literally called Unperfect with Alexi. Like, what is that all about? I just thought it was weird. And it, when... Oh my God, I forgot to mute my phone. I also felt like it was weird because I... Every time I would sit down in front of the camera, I felt like this need to be perfect. And it was just not unperfect. It was just bizarre. It was weird. So I thought it was time for me to take a little podcast hiatus and come back to my roots, come back to myself and figure out what in tarnation is going on. Why do I feel the need to be perfect on unperfect? Why do I feel the need to not mess up or edit out any little thing or, you know, make this just the perfect listening experience? Meanwhile, I'll listen to podcasts like Joe Rogan and Theo Vaughn where they're just these hours long episodes where they're not cut out at all there's lulls and there's gags and there's lolly gags and there's things that are said that are like wait is that a cancelable offense and I was like okay well we're all just human after all right like we're all just unperfect so I definitely felt the need to just take a moment and go back to my roots dig a little bit deeper get inside my own body my own mind (laughs) figure out what was going on Um, and as time has gone on I really felt like the break was needed and necessary. I felt like it helped me realign and revisit my purpose and why I even started this podcast in the first place. And what I came down with is four pillars, and that's mental, spiritual, physical, and emotional. Mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. I don't know why that came out so weird. And see, Alexi in April would have been like, ah, I ruined that whole episode and like start over again. You know how many times I made an episode where I restarted it because I didn't feel like it was perfect enough. And then when I took that break from the podcast, I realized that I am a perfectionist, which I didn't think went hand in hand with my procrastinator because I'm also a procrastinator. And then I also saw this quote the other day online that was like, you know, the difference between someone who's successful and someone who's not is Someone who's successful does things faster than people who procrastinate. And I'm like, oh, well, that's me. And I would like to be successful. I'd like to, you know, give my kids an amazing life and have enough money to live comfortably and never have to wonder where my next paycheck's coming from or feel strapped or stressed stressed for cash. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stop thinking about it and I'm just going to do it. I've missed you guys. I've missed being here on the podcast with you. I've missed these raw open conversations. I've missed the long form dialogue. I've missed showing my personality and um, talking with you and talking about the stuff that actually matters and growing together and coming back week after week and just raw dogging life and talking about the imperfections that make us all human because that's what really brings us together, right? Is being imperfect human beings. So we're back. Um, I'm not going to give you any type of like time frame on when the next episode's going to come out. Um, I will be for sure in 2025 rebranding this podcast, finding a podcast designer. I want to do merch. I have a product line that I want to come out in 2025. Um, I want to cook more for my family. I want to teach you guys how to be more well in your own life, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, Um, cooking for your family, finding time for yourself, finding time to be present in the moment, healing from your trauma, learning about your triggers, like healing your gut, understanding that if you are struggling with your mental health, it probably is direct correlation with your gut health, um, teaching you how to be healthier in your day to day and making little swaps, not having to reboot your entire life, not dieting, like making lifestyle changes and swaps. Like those are the things that I really care about. Those are the things that I want to talk about. Yeah. I want to throw on the funnies. Ha ha hoo has. I mean, you'll hear that in every episode because I think naturally I'm just really funny and probably a little bit full of myself or very humble. That was my dad's joke. But Um, yeah, I've, 
I just felt like I needed to take a break. I felt like I needed to take some time. Um, and there's a few topics that I do want to touch on and that I do want to talk about. Um, sobriety being one of them, where I am in that journey. I want to talk about um, a friendship story that you guys are literally going to like, your jaw is going to drop when I, <laughs> when I tell you about it. Um, I want to talk to you about, you know, where I'm at in my mental health. And I want to have experts on here to talk with about different things in life that are really important. You know, your mental health, your well-being, your um, prescriptions that you're on. I'd love to talk about conspiracy theories and just where we are in the world right now and my thoughts on that. And, you know, I, I think we're finally getting to a point where not everything is a cancelable offense. And, I mean, if you want to cancel me, that's fine. I mean, this isn't real anyway, right? Like, I, I want to talk about my faith because I think that's been really helpful in me figuring out where I stand in the world. Because if you think about it at the end of the day, this is all just fake, right? Like, we can't take anything with us when we die. Your socioeconomic status isn't going to follow you into heaven. You're not going to, you know be on a popularity chart up there like I serve the Lord Jesus Christ and I want to be in a place where I am putting his word out and putting his message out and leading by faith and bringing people to him through my actions and I'm not perfect at all like I still have a lot of work that I need to do and there's been a lot of things recently that I'm like oh God will you check me God like God really checks me and there's awareness and then there's change, right? There's so many different layers of that. But needless to say, for a long time, I was really afraid of getting canceled. And I think that's part of why I took time out of the podcast is because I'm like, I have things that I want to say and I feel like I'm saying them wrong. And I, you know, people can spin things out of context and take things out of context. And I just, I, I don't want to be canceled, you know. But at the end of the day, I serve Jesus. I don't serve the world. So you can't serve two masters at once. And God is a jealous God. He is. He says it himself. So there's going to be a lot of different topics that we touch on, but I just want to let you guys know this podcast is getting revived. And I do plan on posting regularly on this podcast and incorporating it into the stay-at-home mom life, incorporating it into having guest experts, incorporating it into health and wellness, maybe doing some vlog type podcast on here. So if there's anything specifically that you want to see, please send me a DM or if you're watching this on Spotify, comment below and I will do episodes on that. I already have lots of ideas, but it's just the execution and my excuses that are getting in my way. I know. At least I'm honest about it, right? So yeah, um, I don't know how long I'm at on this. Let me look. See, I'm really trying to let go of this, like, it'll be perfect and whatever. Because you guys are going to be watching this podcast, too. This is also a video podcast. So if you're listening, you're like, what? I can watch this? Yeah. Go on Spotify or YouTube and you'll see my face and my breakouts. Do you like them? They're kind of cute, huh? Somebody called them like little strawberry spots. And I was like, oh, I love strawberries. Look at them. Ooh, being more open about my acne journey too. I mean, I've been really open about that, but just everything. Like, I'm just so thankful that you guys, when I put my poll on Instagram the other day and I was like, hey, do you want me to revive this podcast? You guys were like, yes, please. I missed your episodes. I actually found you on the podcast and then you just disappeared. And so here I am. I'm back. And I didn't want this to be like, a, I'm done forever type thing. I just needed a break. I needed some time to regroup and get out of my fears and rebuke Satan <laughs> because he really was messing with my mind for a while. Like, ooh, I got to talk to you guys about mental health, OCD, postpartum, parenting. Like, there's so much. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out all the logistics, all the details. I just want to let you guys know that I am here and I will have a new episode coming very soon. So... Love you guys, and um, I hope this teaser was enough to satiate you for the time being. So, yeah.
All right. I'm going to stop talking now. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Mostly Instagram because TikTok at this point might be deleted. But who knows? Daddy Trump's in office. Love you. Bye.